So Jim, what can you tell us about learning engagement? Kerry, uh, to me learning engagement is absolutely central to everything that we do uh, in learning and development. Uh, I see it lying at the heart of the work. The problem is when you, if you go online and you look at articles that are written on the internet and in fact if I look at some of the designs that I've seen it's quite apparent to me that learning engagement uh, is one of those things that not everybody agrees on what it is. There's a lack of consensus mm -hmm. uh, and particularly on how we achieve it. So from my point of view, I've adopted a, a fairly practical approach and I see learner engagement as breaking down into three components. Uh, they are behavioural engagement, cognitive engagement and motivational engagement. The word engagement makes it sound a bit more sophisticated. What we're obviously talking about is behaviour, cognition and motivation. Mm -hmm. uh, we shouldn't underestimate the importance of learning engagement. Mm -hmm. A Gallup poll that was conducted some time back uh, looked at uh, the effect of learner engagement and what they found was that a 1% increase in what they called the student engagement index actually resulted in a 6% increase in um, academic achievement. Okay. So that admittedly is in, uh, in an academic space but mm -hmm. we see the same thing in the workplace. An increase in learner engagement definitely pays off in terms of uh, learning and then ultimately of course what we're looking for is performance. Absolutely.